it's Jennifer from Sea Lemon. As you guys may have noticed from my Instagram or my other social links, I've been really getting more into pens because of my doodle challenges. If you don't know what the doodle challenge is, you can check out this 30 day doodle challenge right here. I have done a couple of these so far and because I'm really getting into it, I naturally like to draw with pens and so my obsession and addiction to pens have taken on a whole new level which brings me to this video i asked you if you wanted to see that because i took a picture and i posted it on my instagram and an overwhelming amount of you said yes so here we are here is a big pen haul this is my first haul of any kind usually hauls are for like fashion and clothes i guess i spend my money on art supplies that is my life <laughs> i hope you guys like this and if you want to to know any of the pens that I mentioned, any links of where I got them, I will post those in the description below. And let me know if you like these supply haul type videos. Give it a like if you do. Also, if you are new here, be sure to subscribe to my channel, Sea Lemon, and you can find more artsy and DIY -y and crafty videos like this in my channel. So be sure to subscribe. I thought I was good on my supply of pens based on my last video going over my pens and paints but since I've been doodling almost every day I found myself wanting more of certain types of pens to do certain types of things and more of certain pens that I really did like so I just kind of wanted to expand my pen collection bring my addiction to a whole new level and let's just dive into it I had one white jelly roll pen it was my first jelly roll pen ever and I really loved the way it wrote it was just so fluid and I thought I need more colors of this so I found this Sakura classic jelly roll pen collection. I kind of wish that it did include a yellow. Overall, these are really good pens. I really enjoy drawing with them and I love how fluid they write. I just kind of wish I had more colors of them. Overall, they are one of my favorite pens right now. The ink just kind of pours out of them, which I like. It doesn't take a lot of effort to draw or write with them. I love drawing and writing with smooth pens. And this led me to my next purchase of the Sakura, Sakura? Am I saying Sakura? Sakura? Sakura. Sakura. Why can't I say that word? Sakura souffle pens. These are slightly different than the classic jelly roll pens. I like to use them to highlight over solid colors. They especially work well on dark paper. You can't see what the color looks like until the ink dries. It comes out kind of watery and it's just it's a really watery ink that comes out and you can't really see what color this is unless you look at the cap. They are opaque, so they will cover over drawings and make really great highlights. But I found the white isn't as opaque as the classic Jelly Roll white. The colors are slightly muted and pastel, which I think make a nice solid pastel background as you may have seen on my doodles. And that led me to want to go try more pens, so I headed down to my local art store. And the great thing about going to the art store is that you can actually test the pens before you buy them. I recommend that if you're not sure of some pens you want to try and you don't want to like buy the whole set, go down to your local art store and test them out. So already being familiar with the Jelly Roll pens, I wanted to try the metallics, but I didn't want the whole set. I just wanted a nice gold and silver pen. So I got these ones. And again, they are nice and opaque and they cover well. They go on dark paper and white paper and the dry ink is shiny and metallic. I think these will work well for some highlights. I haven't used them too much yet, but I'm sure they will work just as well as the classic jelly roll pens. And while I was at the art store, I decided to try more of these Tombow dual tip brush pens. I have a black one, which I used in a previous tutorial. I'm obviously not the best uh, calligraphy writer. I kind of just stick to my quirky hand lettering. I don't actually use these for that, but these pens make really great writing pens if you're into calligraphy and cursive writing. I was really looking for a pen that could give me a wash of solid color on my drawings and doodles. So I wanted to try these pens again and they were on sale. So it was like buy 12, or more for two dollars each that's not bad considering these pens are very nice so I took advantage of that sale and got 12 of these pens I was also looking for some neutral colors and some of them the caps look really similar and you can't tell the difference so don't judge the cap necessarily try it out before you buy it the caps will look different than the way they draw these are water-based and they do kind of draw like a watercolor brush 
I like that there are two ends. One is like a brush and the other is just like a marker tip. They do fade because they're water-based, but so far that doesn't really bother me yet. The color might fade a little over time or fade a little after you draw with them. And they are acid-free, so it's not like the color is going to yellow your paper. The next one is not really a pen, it's more of a marker, but I am using it with all my other pens and I thought why not try these as well. I'm kind of tired of using highlighters in my set so I wanted some more neon fluorescent type pens and I wanted to try these Winsor Newton neon markers. I really like Winsor & Newton and I use their paints, they have really good paints so I just kind of assumed they would make a really good marker. And I have never tried these before, I didn't even really know what they looked like before I bought them. This is kind of like a uh, spontaneous purchase. So they are dual tip and wow, these are really bright. I thought my highlighter was bright. These are like bright, it's very fluorescent. They aren't opaque, so they won't go over solid colors, but they are really bright. So I will definitely find a use for these. Also, I love that they don't bleed. And for my next purchase, I wanted some more Sharpies, but I really don't like anymore that they bleed through the back of my paper and they kind of bleed too much. So I wanted to try the Sharpie pen. I do have one Sharpie pen. It definitely doesn't bleed. So I thought I wanted to try more colors of it. They are kind of scratchy to draw with. I don't know if that makes sense. They're not as fluid feeling as some of the other pens and they do kind of require more pressure, but they are a good permanent marker if you need something permanent. Thank you for joining me in my first haul. I hope you liked it. And if you have some pens that you want to try out or if you've tried any of these, let me know your experience in the comments below. I will continue to test these out. I'm still kind of new to them and I didn't realize there's like a whole world of different types of pens and I might just continue my pen addiction. I don't know, I might have a problem. <laughs> Hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel, Sea Lemon. You can check out my previous video going over the pens and paints that I like to use. And if you want to take the 30 day doodle challenge, check out this video on the right. These links will be in the description below. I will see you guys next time.